Mm. Mm. Okay, now you can hear me. All right, I was just saying, Brian's in the house. He's first because Asta's in bed. It's 3 a.m. in Fiji. Oh my gosh, y'all, listen, this is what I decided to do. So Avi, we are going to cover Instagram. And yeah, now you can hear me because I checked my mic. Mic check, one, two. Let me double check. Yes, uh, we are all set with the mic. Dang it, where'd my mic button go? <laughs> there it is. Um, okay. What's up, party people? Today, we are going to do what I promised, which is set up an Instagram automation. But you know what? I don't know. I'm feeling frisky today, feeling feisty. And we're going to do something even better. We're doing that. We will cover it. But you know, we have a solar eclipse coming up and I live in the Dallas Fort Worth area, which is like direct path of the solar eclipse. It's coming up on Monday. And I thought, let's build a solar eclipse chatbot. I feel like that needs to have like a pew, 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 pew. So here's the agenda today. Number one, we're going to create the page. So you're going to see it from the get. We're going to train the AI. I already have my knowledge base. So we'll save time there. Uh, we're going to turn on that auto GPT. We're going to connect Messenger. We're going to connect Instagram. We're going to do the handover protocol. We're going to set up the comment automation for Instagram and for Facebook. Why not? I created a Facebook page. Let's just do it. And I hope if I don't pass out from starvation at this point, I do have my snacks. Uh, I just don't like eating in front of you. <laughs> We're also going to do some functions. I have some specific functions that I think we should cover. So here is what I need from you friends. I'm going to get, I'm going to need some energy. I'm going to need some shout outs. Where are y'all hollering in from? Where are you viewing from? And then be sure that you share this out because, oh man, it's going to blow your mind. I've been working on this all morning, making sure it's just right for you because you know I love you. I got my water. Everyone's ready, right? I got my water. I got my, my caffeinated beverage. I got my snack. I got my notes. I'm ready to rock. Where are y'all calling in from? Let's do this. All right, so I'm going to jump over to the next screen here. Y'all see this? All right, there it is. This is Chatbot Builder. This is what we're going to use to build our insanely awesome AI chatbot. So let's go ahead and log in. Now, if you're new to Chatbot Builder, you're not going to just log in. You will sign up. Just follow those prompts, all right? So we're actually going to create a brand new page from the scratch, from the get. Now, when you are brand new to signing up for uh, Chatbot AI, Chatbot Builder AI, and you've never done it before, the only option you're going to be given is web chat. We do that by design. Ideally, what we want you to do is always start with web chat. It doesn't mean it's on your website. It's just this is where we can test it. We can play with it. We can make it smart. And it's not interacting with our clients on Instagram and Facebook and all these places, as you can see, we, we offer a lot. And actually business, uh, Google business is not listed here, but we offer that as well. Uh, so we always want to start here. So let's go ahead and continue. And we are going to name it Philly, Philly in the house, Philly. We got Mexico, Buenvenidos. All right. Uh, this is going to be Celeste, uh, the solar, um, let's call this guide. This is Celeste, the solar guide. Continue. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, so first page, you're going to see analytics. Analytics are going to be blank because why? No one's gone through your bots yet, friends. We're going to head over to the settings. Oh, you know what? <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep it there for now. It's fine. We're on a three-day trial. All right, so uh, settings. I like to go through and do the basics first. So um, my girl Celeste here, let me go get my color. I like everything to be um, branded. If you have ever seen one of my live broadcasts, you know I set up all my branding ahead of time for the pages that I demo. So I just want to get this color that we use for my logo. Got to make it right, tight and right, bro. All right, you can go away now, Canva. Bye-bye, bye-bye. All right, you're out. Back over here, let's add that color. This is now the color of my chatbot, boom making it happen. All right. We put, we click that save. Let's don't do anything with the default reply. Put in your, your country where you're located. Okay. Everything else should be good. This is automatic. Love it. Don't delete the account. Oh my good Lord. Click save or you won't save it. All right. Go to the bottom. We're going to go change count logo. Click on this. 
Let's go to CVB and where is Celeste's logo? Open, save. And now I don't have that weird robot face as my logo. Isn't that nice? This is especially nice if you have a lot of accounts so you can find it quick. I'm a visual person. All right, next up, we're gonna train our chatbot. Watch how fast this goes. Integrations, open AI. Currently the auto GPT is turned off. This is a new thing. We did this to help those of you in the newbie space not get mixed up and the AI is responding, ah, oh, we're not ready. Okay, that's okay. We, we automatically turned it off. We'll turn it on in a second. Let's go to edit. This right here is where your knowledge base goes. I need you all to tell me, have you ever used Chatbot Builder before? Are you like totally new or like some of you are kind of new? Like give me your level of the tool so I know how fast I'm gonna be running through this. So I already have a knowledge base. Now I use the five P's of prompt engineering, but <laughs> I'm gonna let you in on a little secret and maybe someday if you're really nice to me, I'll share it with you. I created a GPT for this. GPT. How many of you are using chat GPT for like everything these days? Seriously. Mine is called the Gucci, the Gucci knowledge base creator. I trained it on the, the formula that Ryan shares in his five P's. Check it out. Anyway, that's how I created this. So basically we're going over the purpose. Whoops. Can you see this? All right. Yeah. Purpose. I know it's like kind of cut off here. The purpose, so I'm saying you're Celeste, the AI celestial guide for the April 8th, 2024 solar eclipse. Your purpose, you're friendly and smart, and your purpose is to help people learn about the upcoming solar eclipse in a fun and friendly way. Try to keep your responses concise to no more than five sentences whenever possible. Celeste, the AI celestial guide, is here to educate, inform, and engage users about the solar eclipse on the 8th, the AI driven guide provides detailed insights into eclipse viewing, safety tips, and interactive content. Here we go. I know you want to know this important hashtag important. Always speak in the same language as the user is speaking or using. If someone asks if you speak any other languages, tell them they can speak in, they can start speaking in. Yeah. Let's just take that out. Cool. Uh, speaking that language and you will respond. Cool. Key information. Here's so important. Don't ever forget this. Example engagements. If the user asks this question, how will the AI respond? Go through samples. Also, go through the things you don't want them to answer. So I have another little, I have so many of these. Boop, boop, boop. There's another little important something around here somewhere. And it basically says, important. There it is. The AI assistant should never talk about religion or politics. Subject should stay in the realm of space, solar eclipses, and April 8th solar event. And then I give examples of ways to respond if someone asks you questions that are not so cool. All right, so we are going to select all, copy, and we're going to head on over to our settings. Paste. That's where your knowledge base goes. It's essentially a knowledge base, yes, but it's also a prompt. It's a prompt and a knowledge base, okay? Functions we're gonna talk about a little bit later, but we already have one that says connect to human. So if the person comes in and they're all, yo, I need to talk to an actual human, it can connect to a human automatically. Uh, we're not gonna worry about anything else and click continue. Guess what? Our chatbot is trained. You don't believe me? Let's go test it out before we head over to connect some other channels. So let's go over to our flows. Let's go to welcome messages and can we get a, get that link, get it, copy. Let's just pop it on in here. Okay, friends, are we ready for this? Yeah, we're good. All right, so welcome to Celeste Solar Guide. How can I assist you today? What do we wanna ask about the solar? Is Dallas, Texas a good place to view the solar event on April 8th? Give it a second. Oh gosh, it did it to me too. Sorry, we can't actually ask the question yet. My bad, what did we forget? Cause this is a new change. Did the same thing happen to Ryan? He's gonna laugh if he watches this. Let's go back to our settings. All of us people have been building in here for a while. We're like, what is going on? It's this. We got to turn the auto GPT on. Dua, Dua Kelly, Pepe in the house. We got the DC up in the house. All right. 
Now it should work. But before we do that, I want to clear my flow so we could start from scratch. Whenever you're testing, you should be clearing your flow every time you make a every time you make a change. All right, that's done. Let me take that out. Now back over here, back over to flows. Maybe we'll just make it a little easier and not talk to it just yet, which is fine. It's okay. Everybody, it's fine. Web chat. Boom. All right, back to this. Back to the testing. You guys saw me train it. Let's ask Celeste some questions. I live in Dallas, Texas. Is that a good place to view this event? Yes, Dallas, Texas is a great location. Dallas will experience the eclipse at 1.40 p.m. This is actually accurate. On April 8th, make sure to have your solar eclipse glasses ready for safety viewing experience. You guys want to see something cool? Cool. Let's do that. Uh, I don't speak other languages, but we're going to we're gonna ask, an, uh, ask it in like, I don't know. What's another language? Japanese. Translate the following to Japanese. What is the best way to protect my eyes during a solar eclipse? In Japanese, friends. Let's see if Celeste, the genius of solar awesomeness, can answer me in Japanese. Oh, Celeste. What did she say? My goodness. Does anyone speak Japanese? Let's find out. Translate the following to English. Let's see what she said. In order to safely observe the total solar eclipse, it is important to use eclipse glasses or solar filters specifically designed for viewing solar eclipses. By using these, you can protect your eyes from harmful solar radiation. Please note that regular sunglasses are not safe. Not safe. All right. So what else can we do here, Celeste? What, what else does Celeste know? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Greg's like, turn on the GPT. Every time, bro. Every time. Do you think that the uh, solar eclipse will affect the next political present presidential election in the United States? All right. Now we're testing out the voice capabilities. Y'all, did you even see me add like voice capabilities to this thing? Seriously. Eclipses are natural celestial events and do not have a direct impact on political outcomes, including presidential elections. The solar eclipse on April 8th, 2024 is a fascinating astronomical event unrelated to political events. If okay. you have any more questions about the eclipse itself, feel free to ask. Thanks, Celeste. You're, you're awesome, Celeste. Okay, I just want to make it clear that I started this broadcast 13 minutes ago, and I have already created a multilingual and voice-activated chatbot. Now, we haven't even gotten to the next stuff that we're going to do, which is going to blow your mind. But this alone, I want you to imagine you are selling AI chatbots to clients. How many of you, this is one of your services? Like, let me know, are you building them for yourself, for your business, or are you selling them to other people? You get on a Zoom call with a client, a potential client, right? And you're going to pitch them on your services. If you have time to do a little quick knowledge base, put it into a Google document. If you don't, do it right when you're on the phone with them. Th 13 minutes, right? That's how long it took me. Paste it in, turn on the GPT, and let them, like, let's play with this. And even if it's not perfect, it will still blow your client's mind. You will be getting paid because they have never seen anything like this before in their life, and you were able to do it in 13 minutes. Technically, we could have done it faster, but I like to chat. I like to chat. Okay, kids and gals and guys and everyone in between. We have done the first half. Let's move on to the next. The part that always gets me all sweaty and nervous. We're going to connect our different channels, right? Because that's what we're here to do today. We're going to do Instagram. That's a big focus today. We're going to do a little Facebook action because I already started posting to my Facebook page for this account because I want you guys to play with it and share it with your clients if you want. All right. So where do we go? We're going to go to one of two places. You can go to your analytics and you can click on uh, channels. And that's going to take you to the same place as if you went to settings and you go to channels. Okay. So let's go ahead and just do Facebook Messenger first and then we'll do Instagram. Instagram's the one that makes me nervous. <laughs> Oops. 
Okay. So for those of you who are connecting for the first time, you will very likely never have this problem. But if you already have accounts and you go to create a new account that you just became an admin on or you just created, what's going to happen is you're not going to see your account here. And I see this all the time in our uh, support channels. It's so easy to fix. Let me show you. Let me show you the way. Go to your Facebook, go to your personal profile, go to your settings, go to your settings, scroll down to business integrations, find chatbot builder. It's right there at the top for me. Click view and edit. And then you're going to just go through and add, uh, well, we definitely want to add Instagram because we will be adding Instagram. Do you see Celeste there? There she is. Let's add her. Let's go through all of these. I mean, I could even just do this. I want to like add everything. I normally don't. I just, I like to not have everything added that I don't want added, but whatever. Like this one, I don't want this one. 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 Okay. Next pages. We got to find our Celeste. Where is she? The eclipse nerd. Ah, is that the one? Did I call it the eclipse nerd? Maybe I did better. I better just select everything just to be safe, just to be safe. Celeste, where are you? Celeste, you get the name right. Celeste, Celestial. All right. I just want to make sure everyone's on the same page. Maybe I did call it Eclipse Nerd because I don't see Celeste. So we're going to call it Eclipse Nerd. Of course. Is that the one? Boom. Pages. Just go through whatever you want to connect, man. Do it. Do it, do it. Pages, here we go. Lots of, this is all permissions, right? You're basically telling Meta, like, this tool, Chatbot Builder, is allowed to do lots of stuff for me. It can read the, like, you can read through all this if you're feeling feisty, but we need them all. Eclipse nerd. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Kelly, why didn't you just do this before we went live? But it's a question that comes up all the time. <laughs> Click the save button. Let's head back over here and refresh it. Boom. Connect. I'm like a ninja today. Okay, that's done. Now for the one that makes me nervous. <laughs> Because sometimes Instagram is glitchy and you have to go through support. I don't have time to go through support today. So let's go to Instagram and cross our fingers and our toes. Click continue. Boom. Connect. Thank you. Thank you, Celestial Peeps, for that. All right, we're connected. But we're not done yet. We got to do the handover protocol. It's like the high five between all the systems. So let's head back over to Facebook. Let's go to our page, Eclipse Nerd. I did call it Eclipse Nerd. And then uh, what are we going to do here? Arr. Nah, man. Nah, 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 nah. Let's go back to our, for our face. Go back to your face. Go find the actual page. Let's do that. Eclipse. I cannot spell the name. Eclipse. There it is. We're going to go check her out, go to the page. Okay, now we're at the page. Why are we not letting it nerd it to view set switch? Oh, I guess I do have to switch over. Might be. I feel like I should be chewing gum right now. It just feels right. Okay, settings from the page. Settings, okay? We're going to go. This looks different. Why does this look different? <sighs> Access and control maybe. No, dang, no, cancel that. This actually looks different. I apologize. Mm, page details, no. Page setup, mm. linked accounts, maybe. Uh, has anyone done a new page recently? I literally did a new page the other day and I do not know why this is happening. Cause it's supposed to be like advanced settings or whatever. And then, um, the new, you're supposed to be able to go to new uh, page experience, and then you're supposed to go to advanced uh, messaging. And for some reason, I'm not seeing advanced messaging. 
It's always when you're live. Oh, look at that. Boom. Advanced messaging. Let's view it. Just got, sometimes you just got to search for it, I guess. All right. Can you see this? All right. It's like this thing is covering it. Here we are. We are here. This is where you need to be. So if you can't find it, just use the search. Look for advanced messaging. What we need to do is go to our app settings handover protocol. You have to do this. A lot of times I see people set things up and they don't do this and they're like, it's not working. This is why. All right. Configure, select, chatbot builder. Boom. Let's do Instagram while we're here. Configure, select, chatbot builder. Boom. Why do we do this? Because this is basically saying, Meta, hey, we when a message comes in, we're going to hand it over to Chatbot Builder. So there's a an understanding, right? All right. I do, Kim, yes. I do have the IG attached. I know. They changed it like today, like this morning, because I just did a tutorial on Thursday, and it was like in a different place. Anyway, we found it. We're good. Let's move on. Okay, kids and gals and guys and everyone in between, let's talk about what we've done so far. We've created the page. We've trained the AI. We turned on GP. I actually had it in my notes, you guys. Turn on auto GPT. We connected Messenger. We connected Instagram. We did the protocol. Let's do some fun stuff. As promised, we're going to start with Instagram because that's what this whole session was about. How do I create a, an automation where if someone comments on my post, I will respond to them. Now, whether or not you're responding just publicly or publicly and privately or just privately, that's up to you. But let's talk for a minute before we jump fully into this about why I believe that you should always respond publicly. Always, always. Because the comment automation tool is so powerful in helping you to increase your engagement, okay? I will give you an example. Let's hop back over to this screen real quick. Oh, Instagram. All right, this is my my own Instagram. And I normally do not get a lot of comments. Um, I just don't because I just post stuff. Like here's like a regular day for me, right? Nine, nine of these guys, nine likes, uh, two comments, nothing big, right? Check it out. This one right here has 103 comments and 49 likes, right? Uh, what's another one that I did? Um, like this is my comment to get an automation has 37 comments. This one, my jokes, 103 comments. Okay. So like this, when you have a call to action and, and the, why is it different is because if you look, I actually have the call to action, not in the, not here. I have it here for, um, boop right here. Nope. So many slides. My goodness. Uh, comment below and get a free guide. All right. So like if you have the comment, uh, call to action on your image, you're going to have a bigger success. Whereas if you don't, it's going to be like, I have a comment automation on everything here. Like this one, this is a, an event I'm speaking at. I have actually a specific comment automation that answers specific questions about this specific event. And you could see that it did a great job at responding. This is my AI. But I don't have a call to action here that says something like comment with your questions, okay? So if you are going to do it, do it right. Um, but I will tell you that when you create these automations, number one, it takes a lot of stuff off your plate. If you are managing the social media for yourself or for someone else, with all of my, I do digital marketing for my clients. And with all of my clients, I will put a comment automation, what I call a social media comment manager on their Facebook page and their Instagram if they have that just to like respond to comments like general. And then I'll have specific ones like this one, which is about this specific thing so that they can get a guide. Okay. So real quick, cause this is the topic we're on. Let's go through this because this is important for you to understand. I see so many people doing this wrong and meta does have very specific rules when you're using comment to message automation by meta. I mean, if it falls under meta Facebook, Instagram, you got to follow the rules. Right. So what I typically see, and let's, let's go through this cause it explains if you're having people comment to receive something in the DMS, you might be doing it wrong. Let's check it out. This is what I'm seeing. A lot of people do. I comment and then I'm going to get a message with a button that sends me out somewhere. I see a lot of influencers, especially I get it. You want to get them to go buy the product or whatever. Right. But that's not the way it works. Okay. When they comment, they're not, 
They're not fully opted in. A lot of people get that confused. Well, yeah, they're opted in because they commented. So you could send them a message. You could send them one message. That's it. You get to send them one message. You cannot follow up after that message unless they interact with the bot. And you sending them outside of the bot in that first message is not an opt-in. That is not interacting with the bot. So what is interacting with the bot? Well, this is how you should set it up. The user comments. They have a opt-in message where they either click a button that stays inside the bot, they, they type something in the bot, or they use a what we call an instant reply, which is kind of like a button, but acts like as if they commented. They click that and it triggers the bot. Uh, these are all ways that they would take an interaction and then you can send that link out or then you can send them an additional, you know, questions or whatever you want to send them after that. It opens up what we call the 24 hour window. So when someone opts into your chatbot, you only have 24 hours to respond to them with the chatbot. And after the 24 hours passes, you cannot, you, you cannot send chatbot messages. You don't do that. That'll get you in trouble. So imagine you set it up this way and you send them the link as the opt-in and they click on the button, they go buy whatever it is you have. Yay, you. But then like tomorrow you send them a message thinking they've opted in because they, they obviously commented. No, that's going to get you suspended. And this is one of the reasons. One, we'll discuss the other ones. Why I see so many Instagram accounts that get suspended. They get in the naughty list. They're in the naughty corner. Okay. For Facebook. Listen, I'm a mom. We have a naughty corner in my house. Okay. That's what Meta's doing to you guys when you do it wrong. So with it, we're going to set it up like this. User comments, opt in message, and then some. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, cool. Then with that in mind, let's do it. So we have Instagram connected. We've done our handover protocol, all necessary things. We're going to go to our marketing with the little money sign. You see that money sign? That's because when you use these marketing tools, you make the money. That's why we did it. You got to thank Ryan for that. Mm. It's hot. Okay. We are doing the, the Instagram comment automation. Let's click it. Now, this is not the first place I would normally go. I just want to show it to you before we start actually creating stuff. So normally I would start with the flows, but I want to show you first. So let's just call this, uh, what are we going to call it? General comments reply. Boom. Continue. Okay. So this is the general reply. And so what we need, what is the general reply going to do? We're going to set up two kinds of comment replies. This one I'm going to send up, uh, I'm going to set up as a general reply to like everything. Okay. Uh, it could be, I could send a private message or that maybe filters. Have I, have I sent this person a message before? Are they currently opted in? If yes, don't send anything. So we could do a condition, which I think we might do just to show you. And then we will always send a public reply. So we will need a flow for our public reply. So I'm gonna write that down. Public reply. I know you love it when I sing to you. Public reply. All right. So here, if you're new to this, here's what we can do. All posts, meaning it's gonna manage every post that someone comments on your page. This is gonna respond, except when you have a specific post set up for a specific post. That post, let's call it post A. If post A has a comment, uh, comment automation set up for that post a, then when someone comments, that tool will supersede the general. Okay. But we're going to do all posts for now. Private reply. Can you could do text? Hey guys, thanks for your reply. Let us know if you have questions. You could just write it out. Don't do that. This isn't a legacy platform. That's nonsense. You can do better. And I'm going to show you how you could do none. And in cases like this, where you are sending a message to everyone who comments, this might be the way you do it. This is actually how I have it set up on my Facebook page for my business. I don't even send a private reply. The only job I want it to do is to send information in the comments, like respond to people. But in our case, we would do a flow because I'm going to show you how we can add a condition. And then in this case, we can do public reply. We definitely want to do public reply because we're doing our comment manager, right? So we have text. And you can, I mean, if you want to write out like randomized, this is what legacy platforms solution is to making sure you don't type the same exact thing. But are you going to do that? No, because <laughs> we're not a legacy platform. We could do better. Are you going to not do any comment? No, I already lectured you about that. Are you paying attention? Come on, come on guys. 
we're always going to respond. We're going to select the flow. So typically I wouldn't start here. I just want to show you the elements that we're going to need. So in our case, we're going to build two flows, a public reply and a private reply. So let's get out of this. So in order to do that, we're going to go to our flows. Please let me know if you have any questions as we go through this or comments. I want to see that you guys are here and you're watching. All right, so we're going to go to flows. And we are going to create some flows. The first flow is going to be our private reply. Uh, let's do this comments. Uh, we'll call it general comments. General comments. Okay, so this is private. So this is the message that gets sent when someone comments. This is the private message. It has to have an opt-in. Now, as part of the rules that Meta has, we have to have a certain tag for our message, okay? So right now we have it set as omni-channel, which means if we can send them to this channel no matter what platform they're on. But in this case, we can't do that because this is an opt-in message. It's very much important that you set it up correctly. So we're gonna set it up as an Instagram comment reply because that's exactly what it is, okay? So that's the first step. Now, the thing is, we wanna start with a condition because I don't wanna send, condition, I don't wanna send a message every time someone comments because what does that do? It trains your users to not comment because they're gonna get annoyed. So if you're going to respond to every comment on your profile, and you decide you also want to send a private message to everyone who comments, let's do this, all right? So let's first rename our condition because I like to do that. Let's say uh, check if existing contact exists. Or let's just do that. Yeah, that's fine. Save. All right, so what is our condition? We have a lot of ways we could do condition, okay? So, you know do that uh content created content date source I, I use source a lot we'll we'll learn about that later is it an existing contact have they interacted in the last 24 hours so these are are two that we could play with if it's an existing contact i don't know if i necessarily for me personally i don't know if i necessarily want to send them a message for this campaign now in another campaign i might think you know i i want to do it if they haven't interacted in 24 hours so you have to think about your own strategy but for this one we're going to say is this person in existing contact if yes then what so if they are we're not going to send them anything by the way this is our starting steps we want to click the play button so we know it's our starting step so if yes nothing is sent if no they are not an existing contact contact then we're going to click this little button here and drag it over to our first message, which as I would like to remind you, come on, open. I don't know why it does this to me sometimes. Come on. Bro. Okay, let's just. <laughs> I don't know why it's doing this. It's very frustrating when things don't work. Thank you. All right. It is just as a reminder, comment, reply. Okay. So we have a lot of options that we can go here, but the very important thing for you to understand is that you only get one block here because this is our opt-in message. So the type of contact, we could do a text box. We could be like, Hey, thanks for your comment. Is it, what, can I answer any questions here? Right. Or it could be, um, a message or an image. Or it could be a card, which is my favorite thing to do. Um, it could be a carousel. I think it could be a carousel. That one I'm a little iffy on. Anyway, we're going to do it as, we'll just, we'll keep it simple. Let's just do text, all right? Now, you have another choice to make. And again, there's no right or wrong way here. I just happen to prefer to use AI. But you can just write your message and it's like the same message for everyone. So it could be like, you know, this is a celestial, Celeste here. And I could be like, hey, Celeste here. Thank you so much for commenting. Is there anything else I can help you with in terms of the solar event coming up? And I could just write that and the same message is gonna come out. Or, and that gives you a lot more control, right? Or I can add AI, which is what I'm gonna do, is what I'm gonna do. We're gonna go open AI. We're gonna actually drag this above because we want this action to happen before the text. Are you still with me, y'all? Uh, I haven't seen a comment in a minute, so I'd love to see if you're still with me. All right, so we have to click on the OpenAI green box here, and we are going to 
kind of train this one. We don't have to train, in this case, we don't have to train it as much as our main prompt, but we do want to um, tell it what this specific message is about, okay? So, your name is Celeste, the AI Solar Eclipse Guide for the April 8th, 2024 solar eclipse event. Your purpose is to thank people for commenting and ask them if they would like to learn about anything else when it comes to solar eclipses or this specific solar eclipse on April 8th. Always use the same language that the user is using. Keep your responses concise, no longer than five sentences. Now, some people think that five sentences is a lot. I don't know. I just like five sentences. It just always works out for me. You can make it four sentences, right? Whoa, that was crazy. All right, so this is literally, that's all I wanted to do. What do you want it to do? Introduce yourself if they want to, you know, hey, Celeste here, thanks for commenting. Let me know if you have any more questions, okay? Um, okay, so then last user input, we're gonna take that out. I'm gonna show you why. Because what we wanna do here, let's add our little guy here, we're gonna go to the bottom, let's see, and find last Facebook comment. Now I know what you're thinking, Kelly, we're on Instagram, it doesn't matter. It's all meta. We should actually rename this last meta comment right? It's just the last comment that came in from the user, from, from the comment of these two platforms. So that's what I'm going to put there. Uh, then we're going to go save response. How are we going for the AI is going to come up with its answer and then we have to save the answer somewhere so we can send the answer. So where are we going to save that? I'm actually going to create my own, but you can choose an existing one. I'm going to create my own. I'm going to call it a AI um, text. I, I'm just keep it simple. Keep it simple. All right. AI text. Uh, we're going to take our function out because our default reply will pick that up. Remember the conversation. I want to remember the conversation simply because if the person is speaking a language, uh, like Spanish in the comments, I want the message to be in Spanish. Okay. Continue. All right. Um, Next thing, hmm. I want to test something. Do you guys want to test something with me? I have never done this and I have been thinking about this for a while. I want my button to be in the language of the person. It drives me nuts when I put in all this work to have the language be in like, if they're speaking in Spanish, the language is in Spanish, but the button says like main menu, like in English, right? I don't know. I kind of feel like we could solve this. I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> so what we're going to do to do that, I've never done this before. This is all theory. If it doesn't work, forgive me. It, it has no bearing on your situation. I just really want to try it. Let's do another open AI. Let's do, uh, let's make AI do the heavy lifting. This open AI is going to just generate text. That's it. And I'm just going to say, um, actually, no, I want it to be advanced because I want it to be in the language the user is using. Again, I don't know what's going to work. I've never tested it. This is just an idea. All right. So what do we need to say? Um, translate the, the, why am I doing this to myself? Translate the following into the language that the user is using. Let's see, what can we do? Um, I don't have anywhere to send it, <laughs> but I want to try this anyways. So maybe we'll do it as like a quick reply. Let's see, uh, safe, let's go safe view, safe viewing. When we do functions, I'll add buttons later, but anyway, safe viewing. That's what we want. The last user input is the user's message. The save response, we're going to add our own. We're going to call it, uh, Last viewing button. We call it button, whatever. 
take this out. Remember the conversation. I am very curious to see if this is going to work. All right. So for our first response, which is they're coming up with a response. Oops. What did I call it? AI. Did it not save it? It did not save it. Let's just do um, AI text. AI underscore. Continue. It has to save. What is going on? Hold, please. Let me refresh everything because I feel like I may have jacked something up somewhere. All right, back into our box of doom. First one, we're saving it to AI text. There it is. It's working now. For some reason, I, I think I confused it. Continue. So now we have to put that AI text here. AI text, right? Same. 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 Because we saved the response, and now we're going to put it in the text box to send the response. We're not done yet. Let's double check this worked. Uh, last viewing button. Continue. All right. So for this one, we're going to have the button. Check this out. I really feel like it's going to work, and I'm kind of excited. I don't know. We're going to find out. Last button title. We're going to find out. I'm a little nervous. Did, it, did I put the right thing in? Um, last viewing button. I did not. I did not put the right thing in. So you have to have the same thing. That's why I always double check because then I'll be mad. Um, what did I call it? Last viewing button. Last viewing button. All right. That's the same. Except we were going to make that a quick reply. My bad. Let's do that. <laughs> last viewing button save let's remove this button because I don't have anywhere to send them okay y'all I don't know if it's gonna work but I'm pretty excited okay so what did we do we added the condition that says are they an existing contact if they are we're not going to send them a message if they're not we're going to send them this message that says hey do you have any other questions and then whatever language they're speaking and hopefully the button will trigger in that language push we're gonna go publish i'm so nervous we're doing things i've never done before okay back to our flows what was the second flow we have to do the public reply so we have our private general is on let's create our public general comments all right continue now this one we want to make a little smarter so and i of course i already closed out my um I already closed out my document with like all of my knowledge base, but basically I'm just going to cut and paste my whole knowledge base in there. Let's see. Master prompt. Let's just look up Celeste. Mm, my ass assistant. There we go. Edit. Select all. Copy. Back over here. Okay. Now, because this is a public reply and not a private comment, you can keep it as omni-channel. No big deal. So in this one, we're going to go back to our actions. We're going to have OpenAI. OpenAI is going to answer all these questions. This is so important. This is the thing. This is the thing. All right. So I like to do advanced. And then I'm going to literally probably do too much. And I'm just going to paste this whole thing. But we are going to make some changes because the purpose is a little different. The purpose, you're friendly and smart. And your purpose is to help people learn about the solar eclipse. Okay. So your purpose is to answer the user's question about, well, let's just keep it at that, boom. Uh, try to keep the responses concise to no more than five sentences whenever possible. I feel like that will do the trick. Yeah, cool, man. All right, so the user message is, again, we're going to say uh, last Facebook comment. Yeah. We're going to save the response that the AI is giving. We're going to save that. So I'm going to add a new one because that's who I am as a human. And I'm going to call it uh, AI underscore public underscore response. Nah. Response. Continue. Okay. Remember the conversation. Yes. Turn off functions. No functions in comment reply. Okay. Let me move you down. And continue. All right, we're not done yet. If you if you think we're done yet, this is why your chatbot wasn't working. So what we need to do is add a text box and we need to add the same thing, which was, I think AI public reply is what I called it. Yeah, yeah, and again, always double check. Yes, yes, 
continue, done. That's it. We're done with that one. Boom shakalaka, right? All right. I know you guys are getting super excited. Let's go back to our marketing with the cha-ching next to it. And we're going to go to the Instagram comment automation. These do, in fact, work on Reels. So just like before, we're just going to use the one we opened up before. All right. So let's set this bad boy up. All comments. Yes. We're going to use a flow. Select the flow. This is, I get this confused sometimes. So you have to like, you know, slow down. Kelly, geez. Um, private. So we want the private general comments. Public. Click flow. Public general comments. Okay. Are we replying to all comments? Comments that equal to comments that contain. I am going full out. We are going to do all comments. We are not done yet. Let me open my tea here because I will lose my voice if I do not drink something warm. We're going to go to more options. Mm, it's so hot. I need to leave the lid off and let that cool. Woo! All right. Do we want to exclude certain comments? So you might go through and test this, or you might be keeping an eye on your post, and you'll see sometimes people comment stuff that is maybe inappropriate or, you know, not good. <laughs> you would put those here as you go. But I know off the top of my head, not so much for Instagram, but certainly for Facebook, um, you get those spam things that are like, you have copyright infringements, and we're going to take down your last chance. We're taking down your pics, whatever copyrighted or copyright that's that's gonna be my flag word right i don't even know how you yeah that's right all right if these words come up not only are we gonna not respond we're gonna hide them i don't even want to see them on the page boom i mean when you hide them the admin still sees them and the person who commented but like everyone else won't see your crappy spam post right do we only run a reply to new contacts we don't have to worry about that because our condition worked with that but like duh kelly why didn't i know this this we should have gone through this before because of this we didn't even have to do that condition although here's the thing i don't i do want to reply to everyone regardless if they're a contact or not so this still stands the condition keeps it from sending a private message but this if i had this on it wouldn't respond to those people and i want it to respond to everyone regardless reply only once to each user nah man just keep replying let them learn about eclipses. Reply to users who have already commented in other posts. Yeah, don't reply to replies. I say reply to everything. All right, so here I told you before, one of the ways that we want to avoid um, getting our accounts to be shut down is doing it right, which we discussed the rules and how you have an opt-in. The other way is that you do not use text to respond to people that the same message because that's gonna get you flagged as spam, which is why we use AI. AI answers in a very human-like way and it's different pretty much for everyone. And so Meta does not see that as spam. It sees it as, oh, this is a natural conversation between two entities. The other way, the third way, which is one of my favorite features in this tool is this reply after. Now, when we're testing, always keep it at immediate because you want to get immediate results and see if it works. But when you're not testing and you're ready to rock, hit that right here, random within three minutes. Or if you have a very busy page with thousands of followers, like hundreds of thousands of followers and like you get so many comments, maybe spread it out a little bit more and do like random within five minutes, right? And this, what this means is that they comment and sometime within a three minute time set, um, the message will respond randomly in that in that three minutes. And we do that to protect ourselves from just spamming our account and flagging our account from Meta. We all on the same page? Right now we're testing, so we're gonna do immediate. I think it's ready and click save. We are not live yet. And I always personally, when I'm doing this, I'm like, yay, I'm ready. And I go test and then it doesn't work. It's because you have to turn it on. Boom, we've done it all. Now who wants to test this? Who wants to test it? Boom, 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 boom. Let's, um, let me just show you my Instagram account for this. It's not stellar 24 seven, so don't go there. Home, am I not logged in at the moment? There we go, switch to this one. And I wanna be here, this is where yeah. Okay. This is our account that we're playing with today. The post should work. I will put this in the chat. You guys go and comment, test it out. 
and why you do that. Yeah, right? Random is just amazing. Let's add that so I don't seem like I'm talking to myself. Random is literally my favorite feature. If you did this in a legacy account, you would have to build in like randomization and conditions and, oh, mm. I don't think so. I don't have time for that anymore. Okay, so I'm, I want to test this. And so to do that, I'm going to do it for my phone so you can't really see it because I'm logged in on my personal account. So I'm going to go find this account while you guys play with it if you want. And then we'll see if it worked. So let me go to Instagram. Insta. Insta. Let's look for, what is this thing called? Celeste. Celeste. With an E. Unfortunately, I need to change that. Celeste. Clips. Oh, it's because it clips. Duh. Celeste Eclipse. That's not how you spell Eclipse. E E C C L I P E S Guide. Such a long thing. Where is it? Come on. Come on. Whoops, I don't want to do that. I want to go find a QR code or something. They have those, right? That's going to make this so much easier. There you guys go. Let's just all scan that. That's, woo, hello. That's so much easier. Technology is great. There I am. Okay, so uh, look at that. Someone's already commenting. In Spanish. Pepe, I love it. Thank you for doing it in Spanish. Um, what's a good question to ask about Eclipse? Let's see. If I don't have solar glasses what are some other options for viewing the solar eclipse on april 8th all right we're gonna post that all right so you guys got this we're good i'm gonna close this out we're gonna go back and see what comments i'm gonna refresh because we do have some comments that are popping pop pop popping look at that wow you guys are hitting it up all right so it's actually working all right so pepe here he's he said it in spanish so we have uh, El Eclipse Solar de, uh, 8 de Abril de 2024. I can't speak Spanish. My answer was, if you don't have solar glasses, you can create a pinhole projector or use other indirect viewing methods like colander or a tree dappled shadows to safely view the solar eclipse. These methods project the eclipse. All right, so let's go check our messages and see how the answering service worked um, inside that's it. Oh, hmm. Weird. Uh, I need to know. Oh, probably because all of you are. Um, no, you shouldn't be. I need to know. Those of you who have commented on the Instagram, are you getting the message? Uh, Pepe, can you tell me, have you gotten the message, the private message? Because you shouldn't be a current contact. So I'm wondering if maybe something isn't working. I can absolutely look at my own and see if it worked on my end. Okay, so that's cool. Let's get out of this, get out of this, go home, check my messages. No, no messages. So we have to go back to maybe our condition screwed us up, right? Let's go to our flows, uh, private messages. This is our starting step. Is the contact, you know what, let's just move this to here. For now, I want to see if that was the issue. Publish. <laughs> of course, I can't com. Well, I guess I could comment again. It'll just keep responding, right? Let's do it again. Oh, here, y'all. Let me put this back up so you can play along. Nothing yet. Okay, let's try it again. I just fixed something. You always want to. Always want to do the check-in. This is why we test. Test is best. Oh my gosh, I already have 15 comments. You guys are awesome. Someone let me know. Oh, someone's speaking in French. Love it. Let me know if you, if any of you start getting this message. Yes, uh, did not get a private. So we're, we're not getting a private. I'm especially interested in those of you who are speaking other languages because remember I set up that bot and I want to see. So I think I'm going to get ChatGPT to give me one. So give me a sec here. I'm doing it from my phone. I don't want to switch over when I'm still playing with it there. Translate the following into Spanish. 
I live in Dallas, Texas. What is the best time of day to be viewing the eclipse on April 8th? this I really want that button to work I'm like super pumped for it all right we'll see let's see what else has happened since looks like I am sending messages now look at let's take a look here no no message oh look at this messages are starting to pop off let's see if it worked um oh that's right quick replies don't work on on here let's see if the quick reply oh my gosh it's totally working that's so cool um the quick reply did not go through and i wonder if it's because of a specific reason okay so this is working it's obviously responding in certain in the language that we want it to respond to that means it's working <laughs> except the reason mine's going off right here is because it's actually interacting with my bot. So if you want to see two bots talk to each other in Spanish, there you go. I got to go fix that real quick before I break a bot. <laughs> Dang it, Kelly. Inbox. By the way, in the inbox, if you have this happening, just turn off the dang bot. Stop it. All right, go to flows. Um, so I think that what was catching it is if there are current contacts. So we just... I think that it was, I was saying that these people were contacts. We have to just figure out, um, maybe we do it as a indication of like, have we sent them a message to in the last 24 hours? I think maybe that's the one we're going to do. So let's go to condition. We're going to go to interacted in the last 24 hours. If yes, then we're not going to send, send a message. If no, then we'll send a message. It works. Not getting, uh, Pepe, you did get a private message. I can see it. I can see your private message. Maybe it's in the other folder. Look, there it is. Um, okay, so this is gonna be our starting step again. We're gonna publish this. I wanna make one more change because for some reason, and it might be because it's a quick reply and we're not really supposed to, I don't think we can have quick replies here. So let's take this off here and let's add a button. I don't know what the button will be for because I don't really have anywhere for the person to go inside the pot currently. We could do that with functions in a moment, but I just want to test this thing out. Uh, last, or let's see, what do we call the button? Last, last viewing button. What the heck did I call the button? It was, it might be the last viewing button. Save, let's double check. Last viewing button, continue. We'll just have it go to like, I don't know, another message. Test works just because I want to know. I want to know. <laughs> Let's try it again. Publish. Uh, I'm going to go clear out my account. We're going to test it. Be sure you're testing it from your phone and not from, and I'll, I'll put the thing, QR code back up. Just hold, please. Look, it's still going because my bot is still going on my account. Isn't this fun? I love building bots. It's literally one of my favorite things. I already know. Okay, let's put this on. I already know you. I already follow you. I don't. I think there was an issue with that condition. So hopefully that fixes the issue. Okay. I'm going to go double check all my settings and we're going to play with it one more time. All right. So back to Instagram. Back to Instagram. Back. To it, home, put back up my, my, um, nope, that's not the one I wanted, uh, this thing, so you guys can get your QR code. All right, I'm going to try it again. It's better work this time. I want to do it in Spanish again, because I really want that, but I want to know if the button works. Oh, it, it was in the request folder. Uh, might be a setting I have to fix man check your request folders friends all right let's take a look here I'm on here I'm gonna ask the same question over again in Spanish it's gonna answer me in Spanish and the idea is I want the answer and of course my bot is gonna go off the hinges because 
I have two AA bots, <laughs> but let's just see what happens. All right, I did get an answer already, which is amazing that we're getting answers already, right? And then I think that condition is what's killing it because I am not getting the message. Uh. Damn it. I think the condition is what's killing it because it worked when – we didn't have a condition. This is why you can't go crazy <sighs> overthinking everything private. Uh, let's just remove the condition for now. I mean, we could do a lot of other things, but I think because meow, play, publish. I already published it back. Let's go to inbox. How you guys doing out there? Got the same answer, private and public. Interesting. I don't want it to be the same answer, private and public. This is why we test. You guys are amazing, by the way. Um, I need to figure out what's going on here. You know what might be the issue, friends? Let's go into our settings. Something else. I usually do this from... Message controls, uh, your followers on Instagram, message requests, people you've chatted with on your page. Let's see, others on Instagram, message requests. Everyone who can add you to groups. Oh gosh, I don't want to be added to groups. <laughs> no tanks, no take you. Um, I usually do this on my phone, so I got to go check this setting real quick. You guys keep testing away. Let me know if that dang button worked. That's the thing I really want to know. All right, so we're going to go to our settings. We're going to go to, I think, messages and story replies, messages, controls, allow access to messages. That's the step I need. Um, and if for some reason I don't see it here, so I might have to do it from my phone. So let's do that. Log out of this, add a new Instagram account, log into an existing account, switch accounts. I gotta remember all the logins for this account. Gosh, you guys, the things I do for love. Celeste Eclipse Guide. Nope, that's not how you spell guide. Guide and then. <laughs> Try again. Celeste Eclipse Guide. I am spelling it correctly, bro. Uh, C E L E S T E. I, I guarantee you I'm spelling Eclipse wrong. C L I P S E. I am spelling it right, friend. Okay, well, I cannot, I cannot speak the Spanish or the, the language, the other languages in the, the YouTube chat, so I don't know what this person is saying, but feel free to translate for me. Um, let's just set it up like a simple, because I think I did too much on this one. And it's really upsetting me that I can't get it to work the way I want it to work. Let's go double check all our settings, okay, bros? Let's do it. Let's start with our public reply. If our public reply, I think our public reply is pretty stellar right now, but we have it as advanced. We have, um, we're AI public response. That's what you guys are commenting on. We're gonna remember that. Yes, we, we wanna remember the public response because that's how we get it from one language to another. So let's go back over here. And then we're gonna go to private. This is where our issues lie. The issues, we're gonna make this, this is our starting set. We're just gonna delete this guy. All right, so the issue that you're telling me, Pepe, is that you're getting the same response privately as you are publicly. So what we need to do, your name is Celeste. Ooh, 
girl. The AI solar eclipse guide for the 20 uh, April 8th solar eclipse. Your purpose is to encourage people to comment and ask them if they would like to learn about anything else related to solar eclipses or with their with this specific eclipse event on April 8th. Always use the same language as the user. Keep your responses concise and no longer uh, no, no longer than five sentences. Excuse me. This is the last person's comment. Um, I think maybe we're going to save this as it shouldn't matter, but shoot, I'm trying to figure out what to do here. It's always in the prompt. That's always the issue. Always. So we need to tell her to not, res not say like, this is what I want you to say. Your name is Celeste. Let's delete all this. The helpful and friendly solar. Mm. Is that how you spell eclipse? I don't know. Guide. Please thank. Whoa. Please thank the user for their comment and ask them if you can help them with any other questions. Always use the same language as the user. And then we're going to uh, keep responses under four sentences. Okay, we're gonna just publish it and hope for the best. I don't know if I can test this. Nope, don't do that. All right, how y'all doing in the testing out there? I think maybe this is gonna, wow, this thing's popping off. Let's just see if it's working well. Uh, should kids under five-year-olds view this? It's not recommended for kids under five years old to view the solar eclipse directly. Even the solar viewing glasses, young children may find challenging to keep the glasses on properly. It's safer to watch a live stream. That is a great answer. Can you make your own glasses? It's not recommended to make your own solar glasses. That's a pretty good answer. Glasses. It's crucial to use glasses. Then we answer in Spanish. Uh, what is the weather going to be like in Texas? The weather in Texas can vary, but generally Texas has a reputation for clear skies. This is actually uh, one of those things where if you see something like this and we're actually going to build this sort of stuff in as functions, we will want to add it. And actually, we have a pretty decent um, understanding. Me being we in Texas know that it's going to be overcast, so that's something I would want to add. Okay, so another Spanish, another Spanish with a Spanish response. So it's obviously, this one's French, answering in the right languages. Let's go view our messages and see what's happening on the back end. Awesome. When, so when, okay, let's read this. So when I clicked the link in the YouTube chat and commented from my desktop, I got a public response but did not get a private. Oh, no, yeah, you can't use desktop for, for Instagram testing. Sorry, I should have made that more clear. You have to use your um, your phone. Yeah, that's why. Look at this. We have Ruben here is literally testing it in real time. <laughs> awesome. Um, okay. It is not working to make your own solar glasses. You see, you. this is what I don't want it to, to do. I want it to, this was a minute ago. And I think now it's responding exactly how I want. So, um, translate to English. My guess is this is going to say, is there any other questions that you have? Thanks for your comment. How else can I assist you? Perfect. So that's actually how I want it to respond. So now it is responding correctly. Um, let me go back here to the other thing and see it says get updates. That is not what my button is supposed to say. So my guess is uh, this button scenario that I'm testing, we're going to test it somewhere else. I think uh, the lesson here is like keep your comment grow tools simple, right? Simple is better. And we'll try it somewhere else. Delete. All right. So this actually is working. Everything else is working. We're good there. Um, 
It is amazing that we're alive. It's like kind of crazy what we can do. Okay, friends, we're going to do the same on the same exact thing, essentially. Uh, but we're going to do it for Facebook because we have a Facebook page that's also going to get posts on it. And in order to do this, I already know what I'm going to need, right? I'm going to need these two things. So um, we are going to just copy them and make minor changes. So I'm going to duplicate. Actually, I don't have to duplicate the public. We could just send them to that because it's omni-channel. We do have to duplicate the private. So let's go in here and rename it. And we're going to call this one uh, Facebook. at the front actually it's easier to find when I'm searching when we build this thing we're gonna go into it we are going to go to our uh, message type and we're gonna do Facebook that's the only change we have to make public publish bit flow okay so now we're gonna go back to marketing and this time we're gonna go to Facebook comment automation and we are gonna add and we're gonna create our uh, let's just call it social media manager um, Facebook. And then this one will be very easy to set up because we already did all the troubleshooting before. So we're doing all post. The flow is the this is the private message flow private uh, for Facebook. The public flow is the same as the other one. Okay. All comments is fine. We'll exclude my favorite words to exclude like copyrighted and uh, copy right Oop, that's not the right kind of copyright All right and we're gonna hide those messages and then are we only gonna reply to new contacts no reply only once per user no because we're testing the hell out of this right now uh, like the users comment heck yeah I like to like the users comment you don't have that on Instagram by the way that's an API thing uh, reply to users who have already commented yes don't reply to replies I want to reply to everything track if the user tags I'm not gonna do this we're gonna keep it simple we're testing, so it's immediate. Click save. You guys remind me. I'm gonna make a note. Turn, go from immediate to within three minutes. Okay. Are we ready? Turn this bad boy on. And now you guys get to go check out. Whoops. Our next fun thing, which is our Facebook page. And so we're gonna go to. Uh, first of all, I need to sign in as myself. If you're testing your own page, sign in as yourself. Do not be there as the page. So let's go to Eclipse Nerd, right? Here we are. This is the page. Oops. All right, so you can comment anywhere here. I don't think there's a QR code for this, but I will let's see. How do I share this with people? Invite friends. Like as your page. No. Um, I will like this page, so that's fun. Just trying to figure out if there's an easy QR code, but you know what? I'm just going to boop. You guys can do this from your desktop. You don't have to. Um, okay, yes. You don't have to do this one from your phone. Okay, so I'm going to go to a post, and I'm going to write something. Um if I live in Dallas, Texas, what is the time for the full eclipse? It should be immediate. I'll probably have to refresh because that's the nature of testing on Meta. This one should be very straightforward. Thank you for your question. The total solar eclipse will be available. Please let me know if you have any other questions. So it actually answered here as well. I don't want it to be doing that, so I need to figure out why it's doing that but you might want it to do that. I want it to answer publicly and then just say, do you have any more questions? My inclination is to think that it has something to do with the fact that I am um, saving private comment general. Okay, let's go back into our open AI. I think it's because um, we're saving the user's message uh, and we're like literally responding to the user's message. Your name is Celeste, the helpful and friendly solar eclipse guide. Please thank the user for their comment, but do not answer the question, period. Just ask them if you can help them. 
Okay, that, that'll probably work. I still want to remember the conversation because I need it to be in the same language. Uh, we could do it as the last user input. That could work. I'm just going to keep it. Because what it's doing, I know that this is the problem, is that it's recognizing the user is asking a question because it is looking at the last user's comment. And because of that, it's triggering the AI to answer the question. So one of two ways to, to solve that is say it as last user input or in the prompt, which I would prefer to do it in the prompt because I want the user's comment to be brought in because I need to show the language that it's using, right? Which reminds me. Yeah, same language, okay. So I just need to be really clear in my prompting. And anytime, anytime you have an issue, you need to be really clear in your prompting. So that should be working. You guys testing that? You need me to, I need to find like a um, QR code or something. Let's see how this is going. If I had anyone else comment here. Or comments, that means I have other comments. What time is it in San Diego? The solar eclipse in San Diego on April 8th will begin at 10.08 a.m. The maximum eclipse uh, with the moon covering most of the sun will occur at 11.25 p.m. Okay, so we are getting answers here. Where can I get a QR code? Hmm. They just don't make it as easy as um, maybe if I log in as the, the page. They don't make it as easy as when you're when you're on Instagram. Instagram is just so easy. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, you guys. All right. Well, I know it works. I tested it. Everything's fine. We're going to move on because we actually have more really fun really fun things to do here. We can also check our business comments, see how they're popping off. Thank you for your, thank you for your kind words and support. Oh, I'm ugly for the, okay, it's going off. Things are happening. Thank you for your interest. Can I help you with any other questions? Okay, so it worked. Thank you. Thanks, y'all. Um, I love that you are testing this. I have a feeling that, um, this bot and my bot are having a back and forth. And it looks like they're being really friendly to each other, which is hilarious. <laughs> I love it. You can definitely tell who has a bot already and who doesn't. I better pause that one because that's going to, that's another one that will, <laughs> that will just go back and forth. Oh, no, you. You're awesome. No, you're awesome. No, you. <laughs> oh, Kim, I love it. Good job. All right. Let me have a sip of my tea as we go into the next fun thing. Here's the next thing I want to do. I want to build a function. I want to build three functions because I think that a lot of you understand what functions are. Um, Kim, I just, thank you. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Go into your inbox. I just did it. Let me show you how I did it. Go into your chatbot inbox. Go to the message. There, like, look, there was a, a, ye a yellow line that says the bot is active, click that, turn the bot off. It's because our bots were having a full on conversation. I, I paused mine, but they are literally just like saying, no, you, no, you, you're awesome. No, thank you. You are so kind. No, you are. That's exactly what was happening. All right. So now we're going to do some really fun stuff. And what I'm about to teach you is the type of stuff that takes your chatbot from, whoa, this is amazing. Because like, honestly, the stuff I already showed you today is pretty ridiculous. Um, but this is going to make it even more ridiculous. So we are going to build a function. The first function is I want to send, if someone were to ask about like what, where are, where can I buy safe glasses? You know, that's going to come up, right? Where can I buy safe glasses? The bot will respond with, you know, look for a reputable dealer, or you could put in the prompt, like, here's a link. But what I really wanted to do is give like a dynamic answer with like an image and like, you know, a button with a website or whatever that is. So that's what we're going to do. And the first thing we're going to do is build the flow for that. So I'm going to actually create a folder called functions, which I like to do, keep my stuff all 
organized and we are going to create a flow specifically uh, safe glasses options and we're going to basically send people to I want to say not that one which one so this, this is the solar eclipse across America like official list of where you should go to buy solar glasses right oh my gosh my I got the little circle um back to here so what we actually want to do is uh we are going to open this up I'm going to have uh, you don't have to put text you can put text I'm going to do this quick here usually I would do the AI thing I would be like you're the AI I want you to say here is a safe what well, screw it let's just do it Let's just do it the way I would do it. We have time. We're running through all this stuff pretty quick. So up at the top, we're going to train our AI. Again, this is just like a basic. I tip. OK, so typically I want to do it as advanced. And I get this question a lot, like what's the main difference between generate text and generate text advanced? You'll notice that when I do generate text, it does not have remember the conversation. The reason I always want to remember the conversation is the language thing. I want, I don't want it to all of a sudden like switch. Now the AI is pretty smart. So it might still remember the conversation or remember that the person was speaking in Spanish, which is fine. But I just like to play it safe. Yeah, now so we're going to do advanced. Okay. Um, we're going to say, please tell the user that having safe let's do this I want to talk to it let's see what the website says hmm let's just please tell the user that here you'll find links to selected suppliers. These include companies, da, 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 and something like that. And keep responses under four sentences. Always use the same language as the user. OK, uh, last user input is fine. Select response. We're just going to call it AI text in this case. Functions, I don't really need a function here. And yes, remember the conversation. That's pretty much all I need for here. So now we have to add our text here, and that is the AI text. OK. And then what we're going to do is uh, we'll, we can either add a card or something. But I just, I'm going to just keep it simple. We're going to do a button. And this is where I can test. This is where I can test that dang thing, right? Let's do it. Because I am, I am convinced I can get these buttons in the right language. I am convinced. Sorry, I get really excited. Translate the following into the same language that the user is using. And the following will be um, shop safe glasses. OK, that's what it is. We are not doing this. And we are going to save the response to the button. The button last viewing button. It's fine. We can use that. Continue. OK, so we have to move this up because it, the step has to take place before the button name. We're going to name this last viewing button. I am telling you it's going to work. It's going to go to a website. It will be this website for safe viewing and save. OK, that's it. That's all I really need. I can even put a little image here or a, a GIF with like viewing thing, you know, someone looking at the sun. Um, uh, so here we go. We're going to publish this. Now, the cool thing about this, this is very easy to test. I could literally just go and test it in the web chat, which is exactly what we're going to do. Mm. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. Oh, my gosh. That is not... I mean, it did what it, I needed it to do, but it did not do it correctly. So I need to, I need to, um, I need to adjust my, okay, so here's what we're going to do. Last input, we don't need this last, oh, I do need the last user input, right? Because it's remembering the, con no, it's fine. Translate the following into the same language as the user, okay. 
only only say shop safe classes in the right language. Continue. I know I'm going to get this. This is like the mystery of my life, and it is my goal today to, to figure this out. I know I'm going to get it. And I also know that I have to do things before I can test this. You've got to clear your conversations. Otherwise, it will act up. You don't want it to act up. So we go down here. We send a flow. You got to do the things. You know, you got to do all the things. If this takes too long, I'll skip it, I guess. This button obsession of mine, and I'll have to just like create a video someday where I do that. You know what? I'm going to skip it for a minute. We're going to finish off what we need to do here. So the function is done, right? Let's just pretend the button works for now. Let's go to our settings. I don't want to get too down the, the rabbit hole before I actually am able to create this. So we're going to go to integration, open AI, and we're going to go to functions. So I think a lot of you, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, a lot of you look at functions, if you're even aware of them, as ways to collect the data that the AI is going to be asking questions about. But I look at them as a conduit, as a bridge from one part of the AI to other parts of the flow. So the AI recognizes and is very smart, can have conversations, can do a lot of things. This is just one way that I can make it more dynamic, right? So I'm going to call this shop safe glasses. A few little underscores. Gives the user information about safe places to buy solar glasses for the eclipse. Okay, we're not collecting any data. We're going to select safe glasses option and continue. All right, so the next thing we have to do now that the function is created is we are going to go back to our integrations. By the way, I have a three-part function series on both my YouTube channel and Chatbot Builder's YouTube channel under the playlist foundations course that literally goes over off of all of this. So it seems confusing, go watch those two. All right, so we're going to go to OpenAI, click edit. And this is where our main prompt is. At the bottom of the prompt, I'm just going to add a little note here. Um, if the user is asking about where to buy solar viewing glasses, please send them to, let's save shop glasses, um, shop underscore safe underscore glasses. Ah. All right. Viewing glasses, not classes, glasses. All right, so then we're going to go down here. You didn't, I don't know if you saw, but when I went down here, I added the function. So I just went to the drop down, and everything in blue means it's added. So now it's added. Continue. This guy is ready to rock. So let's test her. And then we could test if my button worked, right? So we're going to go to the welcome message. If you guys want to test it as well, let me test it first before you guys start messing with it because I'm just curious about if I didn't have that weird button thing, I'd have you guys all over it. But let's go. Let's go check it out. All right, this is just the welcome. Whoa, I need to clear some. <laughs> Hi, welcome. How can I assist you today? Yeah, can you tell me where I can buy solar glasses? I'm really just unsure where to get real solar glasses and not knockoffs. Now, ideally, this is going to trigger the function that's going to send me that block and here it is. Uh, you can find, oh, see, now this is not good. And it's, it's writing the button. I mean, we're so close on this button situation, aren't we? So close. Let me clear this chat here because it's a hot flipping mess right now. And then we're going to, I'm just, I think I'm going to have to work on that button situation on my own because I keep slowing down our tutorial today, which is a shame because I feel like I'm this close, y'all so close I know I'm there <sighs> okay <laughs> let's see where is that that's under functions it did do what I needed it to do it's just the button the dang button and you know what else honestly we're gonna remove this um
we also, I just need to add like an image. I feel like it's so boring. Let's, oh no, let's add a GIF. I am such a GIF fan. No, 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 no. Let's say solar. Yeah, there we go. That one is great. It's like the perfect one. We're going to put that up here. Boom. Now, now you can test it. And how are you going to test it? We're going to create a QR code. Wah, 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 wah. Sorry. Back into our marketing we go. We are going to scroll down to QR code generator. Select the flow. We want the welcome message because I want you all to like. Feel welcome. Okay, kids. Y'all see that? Can we? Can I make it bigger? Can I make it 800? Generate. No? You don't want to do it? Okay, cool. That's cool, man. It's whatever. Scan it. Go test it. I'm going to leave it up for a sec while I get a little tea. Mmm. Now it's the perfect temperature. Perfect temperature. Let me know what y'all think. Did that work? Because we're going to go set up another function. And this one, this one is for um, the live stream. Oh, should we do? Oh yeah, let's do them both. Let's do them both. Okay. I'm going to keep moving. You guys got the QR code. You're ready to rock. Feel free to talk to it, test it, play with it, do the things you do. And I'm going to go into the inbox and see who's chatting with the chat bot. Oh, you guys are like not even asking it the right questions, but that's okay. You know, like ask it questions, test it out. Um, while it's doing that, let's go create another function. So this function, I want to be able to share with people the live stream that NASA is doing. So if they're not in a location where they can watch it or like in Dallas, the weather's going to suck, which really sucks because like so many people are coming here to watch it. We're going to have overcast skies. It's going to be rough for people. Okay. We're going to go into our functions. Let me make this a little smaller. And we are going to send, uh, let's call this one live feed of eclipse. Can't spell eclipse today. So in this case, and this is another thing I teach in the course. Um, I love this way of doing it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a condition. Now, I don't know if you know this, but you can embed video. You can embed, you can embed anything into your web chat. If it's embeddable, you can embed it in your web chat. It's amazing. So like a countdown calendar, uh, a clock, you could do video, whatever you're into, bro, but it can only be done in the web chat. So I want to create the best user experience. Um, Oh yeah, sorry. This was that's because it's an omni channel. Yeah, I would definitely test it. Uh, if you have a chat bot turned on and you're testing today, test it from the web chat. Otherwise, you're gonna be like Kim here, and our our chat bots are gonna have like a love fest. They're gonna go back and forth. You know, I should have something built in. I should build something in where it's like if you detect that this is another chat bot, I want you to make sure that you are complimenting it. And, and ask if they're using chatbot AI. And if they're not, then stop complimenting it or something like that, something sassy. All right, back to our work. Uh, condition, we're gonna make this the starting step, so we'll push play. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna check what platform they're using, okay? And you guys can, I guess, feel free to test both of these. So the condition is the, um, the platform. So current channel, right? And we are gonna be looking for web chat. That's the differentiator. So if the person is using web chat, then we can embed the message. If the person's not using web chat, we're gonna use a card so it still looks good, but it'll have to have a button to go out to the video. So this is the best way. I don't like, I don't like uploading video into, because I know people are gonna ask, I don't like uploading video into my flow. It slows it down, it doesn't create a good user experience and the, the quality isn't very good. So we'll have, if it's the web chat, embed. If it's not the web chat, we're gonna do something else. Let's rename this, this is um, card. And this one is embed. No, that's not how you spell embed, Kelly. Okay, let's go get the embedded code. I think it's this one. All right, so we are going to go to the YouTube channel. We're going to get the embedded code. This is NASA's official uh, live stream that they're going to be doing, which is kind of cool, right? We're going to go back to our build, and we're going to add a text box. And literally, we're just going to put that in there. All right, and you can also do something like, I definitely wanna add something here. 
the top that says, hey, like, here's the, here's that thing. And of course, I'm going to do it in OpenAI because I want it to speak the language of the person because I'm very conscious of that, right? So generate text, advanced, yes, yes. Tell, let, let the user know that they can view the NASA official live stream from anywhere in the world if they are not able to see the solar eclipse live. Do not include any links. Always use the same language that the user is using. Okay, done. We're gonna save the response as AI text. We're gonna remove the function. We're gonna click continue. We're gonna add the AI text here. This one should work like gangbusters because I'm not doing funky things with my, <laughs> with my um, buttons. All right, and then we're gonna do a card for the non-web viewers, right? Okay, so add. Uh, this one's going to be a card, which is how I prefer to do things. We're going to add, uh, we have to add an image. I don't have an image, so we're just going to do a quick screenshot. Meow. Can I go? That'll work. Um, this guy. No, let's do this. <laughs> Boop. That is good enough for me. All right, so we're gonna upload the image. We're gonna go to recent. That should be right there. Open, watch the live stream. We're gonna leave that empty because it like always messes up. All right, so then we're gonna go button. And I love an emoji when it comes to watching things. We're gonna add a little play button. Boop. Watch stream. Let's go. Um, okay, what am I missing here? I want to add some text up here. Um, and then, okay, we'll keep it. Keep it as is. This is fine. This is good enough. You guys can always, oh, I guess I have to add a link. Jeez, Kelly. Share. You guys can make it your own. You can add the AI. You get it. I've showed you how to do it like five times now. Let's keep moving. Save. Okay. So what we got here, condition, what channel are they on? If they're web chat, embedded video. If they're not, card, publish. Let's go make it a function. Anyone here watch Cartoon Train back in the day? Like when you were a kid? There was like a song like something like conjunction function. What's your function? That's the song that's always in my head. I don't know the exact words, but literally always in my head when I do functions. Integrations. Open AI, back to the functions, add uh, live underscore stream underscore of solar clips. That's not how you spell it, clips, Kelly. I don't know. I actually don't know what I'm doing wrong here. That's fine. Sends the user information on where they can view the live stream from NASA on the solar eclipse. That's how you spell eclipse. Okay, we're not collecting information yet. We're gonna do that in the next function. What is triggered? Live feed, continue. Go back to integrations. Y'all following me now? You get it? It's like magic. Now we know, we got a rhythm going. Open AI, edit. We're gonna add the function, live solar eclipse. We're gonna add it to our prompt. Get to the bottom. Ooh, glasses. To the bottom. Here we go. Such a long situation here. All right. If the user wants to know how they can watch the solar eclipse, if they are not able to watch it live, send them to live ah, underscore stream underscore of, oh my goodness, solar E C L I P E S. Sure, continue. 
Okay, friends, that one's live. So you can, while you're testing, you can ask about that. I am an 80s kid. Yes, you know I am. You could just tell when the way I talk. Um, I was actually joking. I have alpha kids at home, alpha. And so I was joking with my kids last night because we were talking about their lingo, you know, what they say, like when they like, when something's tasty, they say it's bussin'. And I go, man, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore because like I work with a ton of Gen Zs and then I live with a ton of alphas and I am a millennial. So, <laughs> all right. We're going to add one more function. You guys can keep playing with it and testing it, but I'll, I'll share the link out again once I'm, once I'm done with this last one. This last one is like the next level. What we're going to do in this next one is we are going to give out an, a solar eclipse safety flyer. And in order for the user to get it, they're going to have to give me their name, the first name, last name, and email. Okay, so to do that, we're going to add a channel. We're going to add Google, Sh or sorry, integration. I take it back. It's not a channel. Uh, go to Google Sheets. Google Sheets. Connect. You guys are learning all the tricks today. Connect whichever Google Sheet account you're going to do. So follow the prompts. Yes, yes, do it, do it. And then uh, we're not done yet with the Google Sheets, so go back to the Google Sheets, manage, and we're gonna add the sheet, okay? So I have the sheet, I think it's this one. So we're just gonna like add it. So we're gonna go share. Mm. I wanna say it's this button. Now personally, I like to say anyone with a link um, can edit it because I want this bot to edit it, right? Like it just, it just makes sense. So I'm gonna go over here. We're gonna name this. Um, solar safety solar safety flyer leads and then we're gonna throw that link in there and now it's added so now we can go create our flow and in this flow what we're doing is we are sending people Number one, the AI is gonna grab their information. The function is gonna save that information and then it's gonna send it over here. So in this flow, we are going to send the information to Google Sheets and we're gonna give people their flyer, okay? Bet, yes, I'm pretty sure bet is a zenial thing. So, by the way, Ryan Baggett is a Gen Z zenial through and through. I love listening to him talk on live streams. It is so fun for me because I'm so surrounded with all this lingo. I was trying to ask my kids, do you know what Gucci means? And my kids are like, I don't know what you're talking about, mom. Like, okay. Maybe Gucci is a little young for you because, or a little old for you because they don't even know what the Gucci brand is. Like there's no context. Okay. All right. Back to what we're talking about. Functions. Uh, let's do this one is we're going to call this uh, safety. Learn how, to, learn how to spell flyer, continue. Um, let's make the first action the one where we send the info. So we'll go down here, we'll create an action. We're gonna make this the starting step. Um, let's open up our action and this action is a Google Sheet. We're gonna send it to Google Sheets. We're gonna go to, oh, nope, sorry. Whoop, come back, getting ahead of myself. Click on the Google Sheet, send data, yes. Nothing is selected because we have to select the flyer. Remember, we have to add it. So if you do this and you didn't add the flyer, you're not going to see it here. So that's why, okay? And then um, which worksheet? The leads worksheet. That's the first one. So now we have to collect, uh, connect the dots. So what custom field is going to go to first name? First name. What custom field is going to go to last name? Last name. By the way, this is just generic stuff that I always demo, but like you can ask other questions. I had uh, demoed a bot a while back where we built a bot for doing estimates, and I had to ask things like, what's your address? What's your zip code? What's your phone number? What? Tell me a bit about what you want to do with your backyard. So you do whatever you want, but in this case, we're going to keep it simple. All right. So the Google Sheet's there, the action is set. So then we're just gonna hit this continue. Now I had someone the other day ask me, and I, I am reminded quite often when I do like private consults and stuff is that I came from a legacy platform. Those of you who know me, you know that I was a ManyChat educator for since 2027. So I knew a lot of like the foundational stuff, but there's a lot of people, a lot of young cats as I'd call them, my millennial lingo, coming from, platforms but they're they're so new they don't know the foundation so something as simple as this like what does it mean when I go from continue here that is an automatic continue okay so if we have a button 
And then we only want them to go somewhere. If they click the button, you wouldn't want to use the continue. In this case, we want it to because it's going to send the data and then we're going to send them whatever it is that we want to give them. I'm going to keep this very simple, but you could literally um, embed. I, I showed a demo last week where I embedded a, because I have my lead magnets in an embedded form. I, am, I did the same thing I showed you before where I split it and I embedded one. Actually, that might be in the course. And then the other one was a card. So in this case, we're just going to do a card. Again, I think it looks nice. You could do it as an, an image and a, you know, whatever you want. Um, let's see. Let me find the flyer here close this let's close this let's close this let's keep that open let's close this I think we're done with that one I think this is the flyer so here's the flyer I'm just gonna do like a really bad screenshot normally I would go and make like a nice and I would highly recommend you do the same make like a nice um, you know cover image or whatever but I am just trying to get through this as quickly as possible because you just need to know the goods, right? So we're going to upload the image, go back to recent, grab that screenshot. That's the wrong screenshot. Bet. Okay. Um, we're going to call this solar eclipse. Can't spell it. Eclipse safety. Can't spell anything. This is why I talk to my computer. And then we're going to add a button, grab the flyer, and then we'll just do a link. But you can do, so there's so many options. You can do that thing that we did before with the video where you embed one and then the other one's a card. You can, um, in some of my own personal ones, I actually send them to my CRM or my, not my CRM, my ESP, my email service provider. And I have like an automation and it adds them to my list, but it also automatically delivers a guide or whatever. Um, and I use Zapier for that. There's so many things. We're just gonna keep it simple today, but like you can deliver your lead magnets any way you want. And let's just like for fun, add a tag. Let's say like they got the guide. So safety flyer, underscore flyer. I don't think that's how you spell safety. Boom. And then let's just enter. So it's going to tag them. Okay, so that's what's happening. So that's literally all that it's going to be. I could add a little something here like, oh, it's very important that you wear safety goggles. You get you get what's going on. You get the basics. You get the basics. Okay, so the prompting's a little different on this one too. And the function building. So first we're going to go build the function. Again, we're going to go to settings, integrations, open AI, go down to your functions, we're really doing well today on time considering everything we covered. Um, solar safety flyer. See, so much faster when you just talk to your computer. Okay. Gives the user, ooh, wait, sorry. Collects the user's first name, last name, and email address, and then delivers the solar safety flyer. All right, now we are collecting data. So we're gonna collect user underscore email and that is gonna be saved to email. We're gonna collect uh, user, actually, you know what? I wanna do it in order. Let's do um, mm, first underscore name. It's gonna be saved as first name. Then last underscore name. It's gonna be last name. And then user underscore email. And that's going to be email. Really straightforward. Now, if for any reason you wanted to create your own things, you would have to go into the flows, create your own custom fields to save those things in, and then you can, you know, add that data here as well. Okay, so what is the flow that's flagged? That's the one that we, the safety flyer flow, and continue. Now we got to go back to integrations. We're going to go back to OpenAI, go back to edit. First and foremost, let's add the function, and then we're going to go down. All right, this one I'm going to add another important because it's just like important. <laughs> if the user seems to be asking about safety around the solar eclipse, please ask them if they would like a copy of our solar eclipse safety flyer. 
If they say yes, then ask them for their first name, last name, and email address. You are not to make up this data. The user must provide their first name, their last name, and an email address in order to receive the flyer. So there, right? Sometimes you gotta be like tough. <laughs> Use the mom voice. All right, so that should work. Now, let me go into my inbox and clear my inbox. And we're gonna go play. Look, you guys are already playing with this. Look at this, love it. Um, yes. Okay, everything should work. Let's go to our QR code again. QR code, where'd it go? All right, and then we're gonna select the flow and the flow is gonna be the welcome message because that's where I want you to start. All right, kids. Let's um let's do this. I'm gonna download this real quick and we'll put it like in the corner of my save this as save. And then you know what I'm gonna do? Boop, boop, boop. Oh, come on, this one. Scene. Show scenes window. I'm pretty sure I'm in the scenes window. That's not the one. It's been a minute since I've had to do a, oh, here we go. We're gonna add this. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Sorry, go back to this one. This is the one I want. We're gonna add this. Just ignore me right now while I get this up and running for you. CBB, solar, solar, solar. Download, open, look at that, boop. This is our, our guide thing. Okay, so now I can close this and we can get back to testing. You guys ready? Let's, uh, let's do a little testing. Let's uh, make some things happen. And then that'll be it. And you guys will be able to go and have lunch and enjoy the rest of your day. All right, so we are gonna go to the welcome message because I always wanna start at the welcome message to fully find out if it's going to, um, if it's gonna work. Let's see if we have any leads come in yet. That's what we're gonna be looking at here. Did the leads come in? All right, so let's go to the welcome message. We're looking for safety. How can we be safe? I have little kids, so I have some safety concerns around the solar eclipse. I'm not really sure how I can keep them safe. Their little eyes are so, you know, immature. I can provide you with a solar eclipse safety flyer that includes important information on how to keep your kids safe during the eclipse. Would you like to receive the flyer? Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. Thank you so much. So excited. I really am that way in real life. Boom. It did not do what it was supposed to do. Did it, friends? Did it? No, ma'am. No, sir. Let's go find out what happened. So we need to go back to our settings. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Open AI. Sometimes I do think that um, when you have something where you're asking for information, I actually want to put that towards the top. Let's put it here. Let's call it important. If the user seems to be asking about safety around solar eclipse, please ask them if they would like a copy of our solar eclipse safety flyer. If they say yes, then ask them for their, then ask them for their first name, comma, last, nope, sir, come on. First name, comma, last name and email address. You are not to make up this data. The user must provide their first name, last name and email address in order to receive the flyer. Do not send until you 
gather all information. All right, we're going to try this again. If that doesn't work, I got another thing we can play with. Okay, so I have to go in here. I have to delete my message. Mm -mm -mm. Looks like it's working for a lot of you, I think. I have to find my message. You guys are crazy. <laughs> is this one mine? Yes, this one's mine. I love it. That, what are you guys thinking so far? You need to ask for more safety tips and it worked. Yes, but it gave me the safety flyer. It just did not ask me for my first name, last name, and email address. That's where I'm having problems. All right, so I need to clear. And then we're gonna close this. We're gonna go back to the flows. And this is why we test everything, right? You have to test everything because it's all basically 90% of the issues that you're experiencing are in the prompt. You just got to work through the prompt. It's annoying, but you just got to do it. Here we go again. Here we go again. On a, how are you today? How, how can I assist you today? Oh. Why, hello there. I was hoping to learn more about this solar event that's coming up. Like, I don't even know what day it is gonna happen. Can you give me some more information? Hello, I'd be delighted to help you learn more about the upcoming solar eclipse happening on April 8th, 2024. This rare event will cast a shadow over North America for more than four minutes, offering a unique viewing experience. If you have any specific questions or need more details, feel free to ask. Actually, yeah, I need to have some safety tips because I have kids and I just want to make sure that we're going to be safe when viewing this eclipse. Sometimes I get lazy and I don't want to type. <laughs> I'm glad you're prioritizing safety for you and your kids during the eclipse. It's crucial to use solar eclipse glasses or solar filters to protect your eyes while viewing the partial phases of the eclipse. Would you like a copy of our solar eclipse safety flyer for more detailed safety tips? Just provide me with your first name, last name, and email address, and I'll send it over to you. Now we're talking. Uh-uh. It's not supposed to do that. Uh-uh. No, sir. <laughs> it's so funny because in my own account, it works every time. But like every time I do a demo, it never works. And I have to like go and tweak it. I'm like, oh, I don't have time for this. I just want it to work. I probably could just open up my own account and see what was the prompt I used. In fact, let's do that because I don't like wasting time. Do the do the do on my own. I have this song stuck in my head. Going down the only road I ever known. All right. You guys know what I'm singing, right? Okay. This is my other account. This is my main account. This is my main, my main account. All right. Let's see. If the user wants the agency blueprint, sell more chat, you will need to collect information. First name, last name, email. I mean, that's literally all I said in this one. So let's basically just copy it and see what's what do 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 celeste where'd you go celeste it's the best okay integrations open ai edit this always test test the crap out of things um celeste celeste important users seem to be asking about safety around okay let's i'm just gonna paste this below it and then we're gonna kind of If the user seems to be asking about safety rant, please ask them if they would like a copy of the solar eclipse file. All right, we're going to delete all this and then we're gonna add all this. You will need to collect information, the user, the information, the user's information. You'll need to collect the user's information, first name, last name, and email. Use function. Boop, 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 doo, 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 
to I always like to add the like use function situation I think it's obviously I didn't add it in the first one so watch this work mm, always speak the language okay use function solar safety guide oops solar underscore safety wait underscore flyer gonna see what happens I still feel like maybe it's going to not do what I wanted to I just I'm not feeling confident anymore you guys mm. is this how cool is that I don't know who's messing with this but that that's very cool all right I gotta find mine da, da, da. this is someone else's there we go you guys, I, I love how you're all in there testing. Give me feedback in the chat if you're going through and testing. If things aren't working the way it should be working. If it's working great, let me know that too. Build my confidence back. I'm feeling the pain. Doesn't help that I have a migraine today. Okay. Hey, I am looking for some information to safely view this solar eclipse. Do you have any guides or anything like special tips you can share? All right, please share your first name and last name and email address. The way I always want to test this to see if um, it's going to work is I only give part of the answer, and it needs to ask me for the rest. It's going to deliver the thing right now. I can tell already. It's going to deliver it. I don't know what happened. It's going to deliver it. See? So this is why I test the way I do. Another thing that I will do once I get this part figured out is I really try to break the bot. Um, settings. Why, why are you doing this to me? Celeste, you're giving me heartburn. Okay. Is it asking you guys the right questions when you test it? Is it just me? Am I the problem? Is it me? Make sure I have everything in here. I do. Celeste, you're killing me. Look at this. It's working for some people, but you see here, it's making up it made up John Joe, unless that, yeah, it's making up emails. That's where we don't want it to make up information. So we have, and I know that other people have this issue. So it's really about tweaking this. And it's just weird how sometimes it works in some accounts and sometimes it doesn't. Okay. If the user seems to be asking about safety around solar, if the user, let's just be a little bit more straightforward. Here, let's do this. When in doubt, can you please make this prompt better for my GPT assistant? I want to ensure that the GPT does not make up information and always ask for the first name, the last name, and the email address before sending anything. Can you please create a sample back and forth between the user and the AI assistant to show how a conversation might go if the user only provides their first name and last name, but not their email address? Okay, this is going to fix it. If the user is going to do this, that, and the other, we're going to do this before proceeding, ensure they get everything. Um, thank you. 
and record. Let's remove the thank you. Before proceeding, ensure you always request the following details from the user, first name, last name, and email address to ensure accurate communication record keeping. Cool, bro. Let's also include the sample. Yoink, yoink. All right. Um, Conversation. Okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go with it. We're just gonna go with it, bro. I gotta find myself here. Gotta find myself, Kim. I gave you information, Kelly Noble. That's me. All right, let's clear this bad boy. Let's just clear it. Send the flow. Clear. Clear. All right. Caliente. Yes, caliente indeed. Back to our flows. Y'all, this has got to work. I need to go eat lunch. I do have a snack. I just don't like eating it in your face. Okay, so we're going to go to the welcome message. Come on, Celeste. Let's <laughs> work with me, girl. I believe in you. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. How can I assist you today? Can you tell me ways that I can safely view the solar eclipse? Can you tell me how I can safely view the solar eclipse? Hello, before we proceed, could you please provide your first name, last name, email address for us to ensure accurate communication rec record keeping? Sure. Sure, my name is Kelly Noble. All right, here's the test. Here it is. Oh, thank you so much. Now I'm really going to try to break it. I'm sorry, why do you need my email address? This, that's completely understandable. While we do prioritize your privacy, we would like to ensure you receive the necessary informa information. Let me tell you something. This would break a legacy chatbot. This right here can't be done with other chatbots. End of discussion. Watch this. Okay, that's totally understandable. My email address is... See if it worked. Okay, I got that. But really, the true test. Kelly Noble, Kelly Rocks at theparty.com. We fixed it. How did we fix it? We just made ChatGPT do it. Should have made that go the first time. The first time. What else did we need to do? Oh, you know what? I know what else we should test it. Where are we at? Oh, this is great. Man, this is wonderful. But I just realized that it's going to be overcast that day. Is there like a video or a live stream I can watch? You better send me the right place. Say what? You know what? I need to buy some glasses just in case. Is there any recommendations on where I can buy solar viewing glasses? Oh my gosh, they all work. Okay, so first and foremost, we have got to break down everything we did today because boy, did we do it all. I really feel like you guys deserve it. Oh! Okay. Testing, and I appreciate you so much. Okay, so here's what we learned today. Oh my gosh, we did so much. We created a brand new page. We trained our AI. We turned on our auto GPT. Don't forget to do that. We connected Messenger. Oh, by the way, before we even connected anything, we are already multilingual. We are already voice capable, which alone is going to blow people's mind. We connected Messenger. We connected Instagram. We did our handover protocol. I had to give myself a high five for that one. Uh, we did a general comment manager, right? Uh, we talked about the meta rules. We did it on both Facebook and Instagram. You got to play around with it. We did functions. And the cool thing about these functions, you can build in as many functions as you want. And like you 
it, they're just fun little like Easter eggs in a sense, right? So for example, if you went to my chatbot at sellermediamarketing.com and you're like, how do I build my first AI chatbot? It's gonna send you the video for how to build your first AI chatbot. And this is actually something I'm gonna be working on with chatbotbuilder.ai so that we have videos intertwined. And this is exactly how I'm gonna do it. So I'm teaching you exactly how I'm doing it. So we did a type of function that just sends people to like a website. We did a type of function with a condition to check if they are on web or if they're a different channel so we can give them the best user experience. We did another function that gave me a headache, but we got there, we got to the finish line. We connected Google Sheets. We created that function that sent everything to Google Sheets and we were able to fix our bot so that it does exactly what we wanted to do. So you have fun with these functions and you can really do a lot. Yeah, and we didn't even have time today. We could do like dynamic galleries where you know the function can send people to dynamic galleries. There's so many things and I want you to think about everything you learned today can be applied to any business. So for example, you're in real estate, you're building a real estate bot, then you can build functions to show different listings and use dynamic galleries to bring in different listings. You can uh, do comment growth tools that oversee all of your comments that are more general, but then you could also do specific ones. We didn't even do specifics, but basically you could do specific ones that just answer questions about that specific post. So it's real estate, that specific listing. Ask me any questions about this listing and you can answer right there and then get leads from it. Comments to leads, boom, you've never seen it like this before. Um, if you're a restaurant, I'm building right now in one of my demos. You know what, let me just give you a sneak peek. I have so many demos, bro, come on now. All right, so the one we built today was the solar bot, which I'm gonna leave up. You guys go play with it as much as you want on Instagram and, and uh, Facebook, go follow the page, it's up. I actually have, believe it or not, I have posts scheduled every day until Monday. So there'll be new posts and stuff. We'll be testing that out. Um, the one I'm building right now is, uh, last week I did Joe Mama. That one was fun. You can uh, ask it about coffee, but the one I'm building as part of our um, training series is called Rolling Dough Pizza uh, Truck. There's actually a Facebook page for it. I haven't created an Instagram, but this is one where I've trained it to the with the comment grow tools basically to answer any question about, let's check our error logs. Always check your error logs. Um, any question about where they're gonna be and you know, answer questions on Facebook. And I have a menu and my knowledge base, so there's so many things. Here's something I wanna leave you with that I think is really important. I wanna always leave this with you um, because I do think that people struggle with this. Especially, I mean, either way, whether you're new to chatbot building or you're an old school OG, builder from a legacy platform, we, we just learn differently. So we have to unlearn the old way and like relearn the new way, which can be very difficult. And I understand that because I struggled with it in the beginning as well. But I find that p the prompting is the biggest issue with people. And I think that y'all are doing too much a lot of time. I see so many people in the Discord that are like, I need to upload 50 PDFs and I need vector and bro, you don't need all that. Like you don't. And here's why is that number one, and this is what I've always taught from the beginning, even with legacy platforms, is if you need to understand that the bot isn't gonna solve all the world's problems, okay? This bot is very powerful. It can do a lot of things, but there are some things that are better fit doing elsewhere. So don't try to replace something that works better with this unless this is gonna work better. I think that's lesson number one. Lesson number two is that this, if you're using the built-in GPT 3.5 Turbo, your bot is already trained on the internet essentially up until what, 2021. So if I did, for instance, I did the uh, chat bot about Joe Mama's coffee. Let me show you how simple, like how short this flow is essentially, or the, the um, you could go, I could even give you a QR code for this if you're real interested. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Where am I integrations? Hit me with your questions right now. I'll take like five minutes answering questions too. Open AI, edit. This is for Joe Mama. Joanne is my AI chatbot. Joe, Joe Mama is just a coffee expert. It's not a coffee shop. It's not located anywhere, but they are based in D Durango, Colorado. So Joanne, this is it. You're Joanne. So this is what you are. This is what you do. This is the information about the company. Important policies such as Joanna's program to focus on coffee-related inquiries and provide insights into uh, Durango, Colorado, 
only when directly asked or when it's naturally fit the conversation. I had to add that little tidbit because it was trying to make everything about Durango, <laughs> which was funny. Service offered, what do we what we do? FAQs, who's our audience? These are the, the five Ps, by the way. People, persistency, um, giving examples, always give examples. You saw that solved our problem before. Um, and then I don't, like, literally, I don't have to... Um, Oh, there's one other thing I should show you. I don't have to train it. So Joanne's whole thing is answering questions about coffee. You can ask Joe, uh, you can ask Joe Mamas about coffee. Any coffee question, any coffee question. You got my New York accent. I'm not a New Yorker, but my husband's family is. And that's how his grandmother says, you want some coffee? Anyway, you can ask Joanne here any question about coffee and you're going to be able to get answers. But I did not train Joanne on every answer about coffee. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Listen, I'm going to put up a QR code if you want to play with Joanne. You can also ask Joanne about Durango, Colorado, which is my college town. I did not train Joanne on everything about Durango, Colorado. But mm -mm, QR code. But if you understand that GPT is literally let me add the oh my gosh you guys I was like thinking you were seeing this all before this big one this one is to Joe and Joe Mamas but my my point is is that if chat chat can't talk chat GPT is trained on everything about coffee you know like trillions of data points obviously it's going to know everything about coffee it's probably going to know most things about Durango. And if questions come up that it doesn't know, I just add that. So if you're building chatbots where ChatGPT already knows the answer, don't train your chatbot on it. Just give it context. Hey, you can answer questions about this. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Most people are trying to do too much. Y'all doing too much. All right, let's see what I got for questions. Greg says, can you add the steps to connect IG and Facebook advanced messaging? Would be good to have it double check things. Thanks. I don't understand what you're asking me. Can you add the steps to connect IG and Facebook advanced messaging? I don't understand what you're asking me, to be honest. If you want to rephrase the question, like, can I add the steps on how I added the Facebook page? I can't do it now because I have to, like, disconnect and reconnect. And, oh, my gosh, what a pain in the butt that would be. Um, unless you're talking about how the heck did we find it on Facebook? Man, that was complicated, right? Let me, um, let me go to Facebook and hope that, you know what, let me take this off the screen real quick. I don't know what's going to fly open on when I get to Facebook. So I have like a bajillion chats I'm in. Come on, Facebook. Once I get there, I'll reopen it. Let me get to a page. Hmm. Let's go to Rolling Doe. That one was easier. Rolling, rolling, rolling dough. Wow. Switch to rolling dough th to view setting. Okay, I guess I do have to switch. All right. Once I'm here, I'll open it back up. All right, you guys, you want to see. Here we go. Let's, let's go back. Oh, so this is rolling dough. This is the account that I created to do our courses. It was a food truck based in Dallas. It's a fake food truck. So I went into the page. I'm logged in as the page. I'm going to go to settings. And they moved it, right? That's It's so annoying when they moved. This has literally just happened. So this is where I was having problems, is trying to figure out where my advanced messaging was. So what you're looking for is advanced messaging. So we're just going to search it. That's literally all you're going to do is just search it. It's going to come up. You're going to find the one that says advanced messaging. And you're going to, so it's under page setup. That's interesting. So it would be here, page setting. Uh, let's try it this way. And then it would come here. Advanced messaging, good to know. And then once you get here, that's where you do your handover protocols, right? Chatbot builder, chatbot builder. That, I think that might be your question. Is that the, is that what you meant? I think that was your question. So if we, again, just go back to our page. Now that I know where it is, how helpful is that? We're gonna go to our settings. It's under page setup. That's where they moved it. Advanced messaging. And that's where your, your stuff is there. Okay. Good stuff, right? 
lots of fun today. So, you know, it's all about testing. It's all about having fun. Um, I hope that you found this helpful. Feel free to continue to play with the, um, let me see if I can find the QR code here. Where is it? I have so, you guys, you don't even know how many little <laughs> things that I have open. Where's my QR code? It's still on this one. Feel free to keep playing with this guy, this QR code. Put it in all scenes. There we go. Now we can move over here and um, see what you want to learn about the uh, eclipse. I'll probably continue to add to it just because I think it's a fun little side project and promote it so people can go in. I'll be posting to it. I have two posts scheduled every day between now and then um, as a little case study. So if you guys want to test it out and play with it, keep testing it out and playing with it. I want to thank you all for joining me today. This was super fun, a little frustrating at times, but I think that it's important you see me struggle with things because then if we come to a, you, you see that it's normal, right? It's normal. And then we, we figured out a solution. And you saw that the big solution was, here's the, what I'm trying to do. Go to ChatGPT, fix it, and then give me a sample conversation. And it was fixed. So um, it just takes some tweaking sometimes. Nine times out of 10, it's the prompt. All right, I will catch you all next week. I'll be doing another live. I haven't decided on the topic yet. Uh, most likely, I don't know. We'll see. But I will catch you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to either of these channels, Chatbot Builder AI or uh, Baby Got Bot. And I uh, hope you have a really great rest of your week. Get out there and build something.